Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of DXTX. I'm your host Sahan and Safi, and this week we're going to be talking about dental pain. Now before we dive into this video, as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe below. I always appreciate it when you guys take a moment to let me know your thoughts and whether or not there's anything else that you'd want to learn about the topics that we're discussing. Most of the time in the ER, the biggest question that we have is, is this related to a dental infection, such as a dental abscess or an apical abscess, which is essentially a collection of pus that forms at the base or the root of the tooth that requires antibiotics, or is this some infection of the gums uh, that requires antibiotics? If we're seeing signs of infection in our emergency department assessment, such as lots of severe pain, swelling, redness, uh, sometimes with these apical abscesses, patients will get uh, swelling of their cheek as well as their jaw, depending on where the abscess is located. Uh, in those cases, we will prescribe you antibiotics as well as recommend you to take pain medications such as Tylenol or Advil for pain relief. It's really unfortunate whenever patients present to the emergency department looking for a solution to their dental pain because a lot of the times in the emergency department we do not have access to dentistry nor are we as emergency clinicians very comfortable in treating dental pain. If we do not see any signs of an infection that requires antibiotics the recommendation will almost always be very similar and this will require you to follow up again with a dentistry team to do a full dental assessment to figure out what's going on. The biggest thing with dental pain is that you need to see a dentist uh, despite you know having um, concerns around pain and pain management the emergency department oftentimes is not the best place to visit and if you do and you're on un you're unsure you, you can't get follow-up you can't get into a dentist you can't get in to dental emergency services as always we do recommend being seen in any way possible by a healthcare provider I don't ever recommend delaying care if you're uncertain now if your dentist is available in the next 24 to 48 hours you don't have any significant swelling you're not febrile you're, not, you're eating, drinking, swallowing, breathing normally, and you don't see any signs of significant concerns that require you to get seen sooner, then definitely taking some Tylenol or Advil as per the instructions on the bottle uh, is a safe alternative, at least to tie you over. Uh, sometimes patients notice that putting ice over the cheek or over the area that's a little bit sore and uncomfortable uh, also helps alleviate some of that inflammation and gives them some pain relief, at least for a few hours until they can get into their dentist to be seen the following day. Now, obviously, if you are having severe dental pain or swelling in the face that you're concerned about and you feel like you're now having trouble swallowing, breathing, or you feel like your voice is changing. Sometimes we describe patients who have a hot potato voice uh, where it's kind of a deep, uh, kind of unusual voice like you've burned your throat or when you have food in your mouth. If it sounds unusual uh, and you're worried from that perspective, the emergency department is definitely a safe place to visit because this sounds like it would be something different than just a simple dental infection. Once again, thanks for joining me on another episode of DXTX and please remember to like, comment and subscribe below. Until next time, take care and stay well. As always, remember this channel is only for educational purposes only. We're really just striving to provide you some insight in terms of our thought process around addressing and treating common conditions in the emergency department. If you are concerned, we always recommend following up with a qualified healthcare provider 